and welcome to day 24 of our Painted Lady Caterpillars. We have five Painted Lady Caterpillars and a cup of caterpillars from InsectLore.com and they all made their cocoons. They were quite a bit slower than what InsectLore thought they should be, but they all did cocoon. And today we've had our first butterfly emerge from its cocoon. And normally once they emerge, you wouldn't want to open the live butterfly pavilion, but I'm going to put my camera in there while there's just one guy and show you some things. It was the one I actually thought might not emerge because there's his chrysalis or cocoon there on the ground. I'm pretty sure that was the first one that made the cocoon, which would make sense since he's the first one out. And there is our first butterfly. They actually don't open their wings very much in the first few days, so that's the back side of its wings. One reason that I was worried he wouldn't emerge being on the ground is because they usually hang from their chrysalis to dry their wings, and he didn't have anywhere to hang, but he immediately got over here on the side of the box, and you can see that little um, smudge of orange on the bottom of the butterfly pavilion is where he dried his wings and the extra color seeped out. So there he is. I don't think I can get him to open his wings at all. It's really not very nice to mess with him. There you can see that his wings are orange on the inside. And there's our first butterfly that has emerged from his chrysalis, metamorphosized from a caterpillar into a butterfly. And we have put his food in there. It's just cotton balls that we dipped. We made a mixture of sugar water and food coloring and dipped the cotton balls in there and put them on the plate on the bottom. Um, the butterfly pavilion's not waterproof, which is why we put them on a plate. And he can use his proboscis and go down there and drink from them when he's ready. It's not the best nutrition, not as good as real flowers, but it will suffice for the few days that they stay in our pavilion before we let him go. So we have four more cocoons, the two that stayed on the lid like Insect Lore says they will and like I have experienced in the past. And then we have these two that are still in the cup that I did not take out of the cup because I wasn't sure what the best thing to do for them was. And we will continue letting you know what's going on in our live butterfly pavilion. We'll zip this back up because we want him to stay safe in there. Um, I'm 